It wouldn't be a true Battle of the Bricks showdown if it didn't involve a little drama. Ohio fought off Miami's intense comeback attempt to win their fifth consecutive game, taking this one 76-64. to Miami came into the game looking for their first regular season win in the combo since 2006. Coach Cooper and the Red Hawks, they were already at a disadvantage. They only had nine bodies to use because of two injuries and four players under suspensions for a violation of team rules. Miami's strategy on Saturday was to milk the clock and shorten the game, but that game plan didn't work when they couldn't nail down their shots. The Cats adjusted on defense and kept their foot on the pedal on offense, hitting six of their first 10 shots and opened the game with a 17-5 lead. Ohio shot 54% in the first half and forced seven Miami turnovers. The Bobcats continued to dominate early in the second with a 23-point lead with 17 minutes left in the second half. Shortly after that, Miami fought back. Ohio turned the ball over six times in nine possessions, and Miami continued to heat up offensively. The Red Hawks unleashed on a 25-7 run and shrunk their deficit down to as little as five. When Ohio needed a spark, Jordan Dardis came through. Dardis hit a pair of three-pointers at the 648 mark, to stop Miami's 18-3 run and get Ohio back on track. Uh, he took the lid off the basket because for a while um, we had six turnovers in a, in a short span of time. And uh, that really allowed them to get out in transition and get on their run and, uh, you know, get comfortable and hit a couple threes. So J.D. taking the lid off the basket was huge. And from then it was, it was uphill for us. Jerron Simmons took over from there, scoring nine points in the final two minutes of action. He led all scorers with 25 points and shot 8 of 9 from the field. Tony Campbell finished with 16 points and recorded a career-high 20 rebounds. Gavin Block ended the day with 14 points, 12 of those coming in the first half. The Bobcats will be back in action on Tuesday, February 23rd to take on Bowling Green on the road. Reporting for WOUB Sports, I'm Nathan Wiseman.